All right, this is the uh, fifth video in our uh, series of videos looking at double integrals over general regions. The first video looked at dy dx and how that works. And then we looked at dx dy and how that works. On the slide here is a, a summary of what the other two videos were, where the order of integration is dictated to you either by the integrand or by the region. And in this video, what we do is we look at a third option where the order of integration isn't really dictated to you by either of those two, but you'll be strongly led in one direction as opposed to the other based off of maybe a combination of these two. Not that you're forbidden because of the region, but maybe the region causes complications. Not that you're forbidden because of the integrand, but maybe the integrand causes complications. So here's our example. We have uh, the integrand is y over x squared plus y squared. And then the region is bounded by uh, three lines. One's a vertical line, x equals three, and the other two are y equals x and y equals two x. One is a more steep slope than the other. Region-wise, if you're gonna do it as dx dy, it's gonna be fine at first, but then it's gonna reach a point where a change happens, and you gotta be able to recognize the change the change that's happening is the upper limit on the inside. Basically, the, the, the larger function that um, is the rightmost function, it changes on you. At first, it's in between the two lines with the positive slope. But then once you reach the, um, the value y equals 3 and you go above that, then the rightmost function is on the vertical line x equals 3. Not undoable, but it's going to require two double integrals. You have to change your, your upper limit inside, so you have to do a whole nother double integral. So from zero to three, you do one double integral, one, one double integral, and then from, from three to six, you'll have to do a second double integral. Not undoable, but problematic. In, a, in another video, we'll look at you know, how to set that up. Um, and then the integrand, I mean, y over x squared plus y squared, if you integrate x first, I mean, it kind of looks like an arctan if you hold y constant, if y is one, you know, it's definitely the, anti, you know, the antiderivative of that guy would be arctan, but with, without, the, um, you know, without that being held as a one, in general, like, if we do integrate and get some flavor of an arctan, then we have to integrate that arctan. Problematic, not undoable problematic. So both the integral and the region, both the integrand and the region are problematic as dx dy. But we'll see that they're doable as dy dx. Okay, difficult initial antiderivative and you want to avoid, if you can, having to do multiple double integrals where the upper or lower limit switches curves on you, causing you to do more than one double integral. Okay, great. So we have uh, our function, our graph. Let me move. Okay, great. Y equals 2x, y equals x, x equals 3. And we've explained the issue with dx dy. So now let's switch. dy dx, that's a vertical slice. Who gets moved from left to right? So dy dx is your vertical slice who gets moved from left to right. The upper curve is always the steeper slope line. The lower curve is always the, the less steep slope line. So y equals 2x is your upper. Y equals x is your lower. That never changes from left to right as you move between x equals 0 and x equals 3. So you're good to go. Lower limit outside is 0. Lower limit inside is 3. Lower limit, I'm sorry, lower limit outside is zero upper limit outside is three lower limit inside is y equals x and upper limit inside is y equals 2x don't put the y equals just just put the x in a 2x okay and and integrating with respect to y first is supposed to be better better how well hopefully you recognize that okay y appears twice and when it appears the in the denominator, the degree on the exponent is one more than the degree on the exponent when it shows up again in the numerator. Perfect setup for use of. 
let you be the entire denominator. Because then the derivative of that with respect to y will be 2y dy. Our job is to replace y dy, take a half. The replacement to y dy is half of du. And you'll be looking at one half. Um, yeah, yeah, one over u, which is the one half the natural log of u. Now that might be problematic thinking that you have to integrate that the next time, but um, let's see what happens. We have one half the natural log of x squared plus y squared as our antiderivative with respect to y. Our job to replace y with 2x and replace y with x. So y equals 2x, y equals x. And something nice happens when you replace that. So um, y equals 2x gives you um, squared, you know, will be 4x squared plus the x squared. So that's natural log of 5x squared. Uh, y equals x will be x squared plus x squared. So it'll be natural log of 2x squared. Okay. Uh, the half is going to be, just keep the half outside. And we can employ a property of logs that will simplify things. The log of A minus the log of B is the log of A over B. Uh, when I say log, you know, I mean natural log. And so um, we have then the natural log of 5x squared over 2x squared. And magic happens, the x squares cancel out. It's a constant. It's the natural log of 5 halves with, with a half on it. Because it's constant, pull it out. And then you're just integrating with respect to x. One. So you just get x and three minus zero. So the answer is three halves the natural log of five halves. Okay? Not undoable as dx dy, but very problematic. Dy dx, okay, a little bit of issue with the use of, but no, not that bad. Some nice things happen when you go ahead and finish out the integral. So third option, where the order is dictating to you that one way is problematic and the other way is better. Okay, so you try one way, you need to visualize, look out for when the bounds are gonna switch on you. That's why I draw these little circles on the end because I focus my attention on these guys. If I see them switching curves, that means two double integrals, not undoable. We'll look at that in the next video, just setting it up. But um, you know, try to avoid it if you can. And switching, well, to dy dx in this case, you actually were able to end up uh, avoiding it. All right, great. So that's the end of this video. Please like and subscribe. Um, hit the notification button. Comment down below if you have any questions. Um, one more video to go looking at sort of applications or, or some, some uh, complications that can happen, um, how to deal with when you, when you have a, uh, two double integrals, how to set that up, and um, look, uh, looking back again at how you can calculate area with the double integral. That'll be in the next video. All right, thank you, bye-bye.